All right, so what we got here, some Sam Adams Oktoberfest that I just cooled down to about 78, 80 degrees. And I've got my yeast starter that's been going for about 36 hours at least. Um, what we're going to do is going to aerate the beer. And uh, my technique seems to work out pretty well. So I've got my sanitized water there. And what this is, I don't know if you can see it, it is a cement mixer that I picked up from Harbor Freight and Tools. I don't know, it was like six bucks. But, I don't know, it's about maybe a foot and a half long. Basically, I'm going to take my drill and attach it, and then we're going to aerate the beer with it. Okay? Okay. Trevor, I'm going to give you the camera. And you're going to point it at me, mm -hmm. but you're not going to press the buttons. You're not going to press any buttons, okay? Here. What do I need My four-year-old son is, don't press the buttons. Point, point it up at me. Point it up at me. There you go. Don't press no buttons. <laughs> so I got my four-year-old holding the camera, so we'll see how he does. So basically, after, keep, keep, there you go. So we're going to make sure it's nice and sanitized, this and that. I'm going to attach it. Get on. Now, I got it on uh, the uh, fast setting. Back up a little bit, Bob. Okay, now we're going to take it. We're going to put it in here. Basically, we're going to spin it. So that's the idea, but obviously, first, we have to pitch our yeast. So, that being said, this is, the, uh, this is a clone of a Sam Adams Oktoberfest and the uh, Oktoberfest yeast, some kind of marzen. But, we'll go pitch it in. Obviously trying not to uh, get our stir bar in there. Get it all, okay. Now, we're going to aerate. So, put this right in there. Trevor, come up and get it a little bit closer so they can see. Can you see down in there? We're gonna okay. crank it up. And we're, I don't know, I guess I do this for about five minutes or so. It really doesn't take all that much. As you can see, the bubbles are already going, so it is definitely aerating. When you're doing it, just try to hold it somewhat steady so it's not going to overflow and uh, get all over the place. But, I mean, you can hear I'm not even giving it full throttle. If I do it, it creates a pretty good vortex in there. Why do you guys do that? Because uh, we're, giving, we're oxygenating, we're oxygenating the yeast before we put the cap on it and throw it in the pantry. And this is an easier way to do it as opposed to uh, shaking it up. The one downside is is that uh, the head of this will not fit through the uh, uh, standard car carboy opening. So, But I mean it, this, I use this as a primary anyways only because uh, it's just a lot easier to clean. And then uh, when I secondary rack it, I'll throw it into one of my carboys. But uh, yeah, seems to work pretty well. Cool. Hope you guys like it.